So welcome to your first Java programming tutorial and before I start this, this tutorial um, I just want to say that this video is actually in 1080p and it's the first video I've ever done in 1080p I don't normally record in 1080p because how many times can I say 1080p? Anyway, I don't normally record in 1080p because um, for people with smaller screens you won't be able to see the code very well so let me know how you see, how you see this video let me know should I stick with the 1080p or should I go back to how it was before? So anyway, in this tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you how to how to download and install it all. So here I am on the Java on the Java Standard Edition downloads. You'll find that this web address, but depending on when you're watching this, this could have changed um, since Oracle the uh, the owner keeps on changing. Don't know why. So yeah, just do a Google search for the JDK and you should come to a page that's similar to this now this is the java standard edition downloads uh... we don't want the enterprise edition or the me edition or se we do want se actually that's the support but we want the java standard edition the se and then we've got jdk um, java fx jdk and netbeams jdk and java eu we want this first one right here the java platform jdk so click on that Hopefully my internet's not slow. There it is, and that comes to the JDK downloads. And you want to use this top one here, not this one. The bottom one is the samples and downloads, and the top one is the actual JDK itself. So here we got Linux, Mac, Solaris, and Windows. Most of you are probably on Windows, and this tutorial was aimed at Windows users. So we got the 32-bit version here so that is x86 and the 64-bit version is here that's the x64 now you, you're going to have to check on your operating system to see which one you are to check that just go and start my computer or actually right click on this and properties and where is it 64-bit operating system is the system type so you can find out there so anyway just pick your download uh, just run and install it make sure you do the accept license agreement just run and install it it's not that hard just do next 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 finish install just do that the whole way through and you should be fine so once you've got that installed the next thing that you've got to do is go to my computer go to your local disk um, go to um, program files so you have to find which one it is. It might be program files x86 or normal program files. So go to Java inside of program files and you want the latest JRE. You see I've got the old one here but I've also got the new one here as well. And then go into bin and then up here just copy this. Just copy all of that and then close that. And then right click on my computer again. I've actually already got that open. So it was my it was just right click on oops right click on my computer properties I've already got it open uh, advanced system settings then and then you should get this window here then you want environment variables and then here what we're going to do is you just got to go new and you've got to call the variable name path and then variable value just paste it there and I'm not going to do okay because I've already done this but I don't know why it's not showing up there anyway. I don't know. But you want you want you want to do it in the top one. So that's that should be installed and everything. So to test if it's working, just go to command prompt and do CMD and just in here type in Java C and if you get all of this um, just all these properties and things then you're sorted, it's fully installed and you can move on to the second tutorial and if you don't then you've got some kind of error maybe try reinstalling it or something so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe if, it found, if you found it useful and I will see you in the next tutorial